Governments and media around the world are using the term new normal to refer to life after the COVID-19 pandemic. The words may seem harmless enough, but redefining our new reality as a newer version of normal ignores the fact that normal hasn't been working for the majority of society. The global economic megastructure wants us to keep going just like before, spending our income by consuming products so they can continue to produce profits. The new normal frames our inability to continue life as we knew it in terms of social gatherings, isolating when we feel sick, constantly sanitizing our bodies, and accepting emergency measures taken by governments to mend and stimulate the economy. All the while, we're expected to continue consuming so the economic machine doesn't collapse. Before we jump into any new order of normality, let's first deal with the psychological stresses that COVID-19 has created. Extended isolation has impacted many sectors of society, especially vulnerable groups, such as the elderly, patients with mental illness, and extremely low-income groups. People were calling for help even before the pandemic began. Now COVID-19 could push over half a billion people into poverty. First, we have to regain our mental stability. Psychologists advise us to honor our grief, losses, and existential challenges through meditation, communication, creative expression, or keeping a journal. So talk to friends, family, or a therapist about the impact of COVID-19 in your life. Try to find the peace of mind to gently ease back into your daily routine. Once we're feeling strong, we need to restructure our society so minorities and vulnerable sectors are supported and helped. Let's make equality, sustainability, and justice the new normal. Read this and more articles in Slotto Magazine, the official magazine of Slotto Cash Casino.